Ladies and gentlemen, can I have your attention, please? Could you all be seated as we present the next part of the show? If you could all take your seats, thank you, and be nice and quiet. It's working, Linda. Another very special part of the evening, folk, is when we ask Lindy Morrison to enlighten us as to uh, just where she's come with her deliberations about uh, the best live performance on the night. It's a tough job you have there, Lindy. This is for the cash prize of $400 from PPCA. I'll hand it over to you. Thank you, Warren. Hi, everybody. Okay, so um, this part of the night is about delivering $400 to the best performance of the night. So the prize of $400 is to be shared between all the performers that were on stage tonight. This is not a prize for the composer, it's a prize for all the performers. And this prize is presented by PPCA. PPCA stands for the Phonographic Performance Company of Australia and PPCA licenses the uses of the sound recording and pays those license fees in distribution royalties to Australian recording artists and Australian record companies, just for those of you who aren't familiar with PPCA. Okay, so let's, every year I do this. And may I can congratulate the organisers of tonight for getting me here on stage before 1.30am. <laughs> well done. <laughs> it's a, this, is a, this is really a horrible job and you're all going $400, but you know, $400 when you're not earning a lot of money is a lot of money. And it was an impossible task tonight. The performances were fabulous. We've had a really, really great time. Everybody's had a great time. So, uh, first of all, let me say that because it was getting so difficult and I was so confused at the table I was sitting at about who should win, a gentleman gave me a card and he said, his name's David Rogerson and he's the Managing Director of Strategic Media Solutions, and he said, I'd like to give an encouragement award of $100 to Danny. And then, Danny, I'll have to introduce you to David, who's sitting at a table 10. And David and Danny would probably have a photograph together and that would be lovely. Um, so then I was even more confused and the ASA came up to me and sensed my confusion, luckily. And they said, OK, we know you're having trouble and we're prepared to throw in $200 to your second favourite. And my second favourite, like, I, I love this group. I love um, music. It's not fashionable to like musicals, but I love musicals and I know most musicals. <laughs> and I think this could be a great musical songwriting team and uh, the song was called In Paradise. So that's the ASA award. And finally, um, the award from the Phonographic Performance Company of Australia. The Phon Phonographic Performance Company of Australia, did you miss that? The um, Collection Society for Licence Fees for the Uses of Sound Recordings, which pays to recording artists and record labels. The $400 award for the best performance. And for those of you who remember the quote, don't ever work with children and animals. <laughs> it goes to animal mix. <laughs> So if we could see a fair distribution of that $400 to all the performers, that would be lovely. <laughs> Good. 
And Karen, you might like to say a few words. I just like to thank my parents for all the support they've given me over the last I've been doing this for at least six years now, so it's, it's been amazing, the support, and I wouldn't have been at this level, at this stage, if it wasn't for them, and also the rest of my family who are here supporting me tonight, my sister and my uncle and aunties. My best friends, they're also here, and I would love to thank all the kids that came up tonight and helped me. They were fantastic, so cute. <laughs> um, yeah, and thank you to everyone here and to the ASA. Thank you very much. Well done, Karen. Now, Lindy, you might have thought that was a top job, but this is a horrible job. You've got to get rid of some more tables from our table lotto. And we're not sure whether that one fell out of the bin or, the, or whether it just... No, no, they're, they're all done already, so... At a table 23, there are only about three or four left, I think four, and we'll be back with uh, a result there very shortly. Thanks very much, Lindy. And now, a most prestigious award, it's the Australian Songwriters Hall of Fame. And uh, up on stage now, the master of all things musical, Mr. Glenn A. Baker. The last time I was up on this stage, was to pay tribute to the great Stevie Wright. And that night I began with some words that fit tonight's induction so very well that a couple of paragraphs of them bear repeating. I said then that, like Britain, Australia took its lead in the early days of rock and roll from the US. Although we had musicians of flair and imagination who could satellite any dance floor and singers of howling intensity who could let rip with the best of them, we took our songs and thus our musical direction from abroad. Australian pop rock was mostly derivative. Our artists trawled through boxes of sample singles in local record company offices to find foreign songs they could cover before the international versions had a chance to gain a foothold in, the, in this market. Certainly there were songs like The Wild One, penned by Johnny O'Keefe and his DJs, and recorded by everyone from Jerry Lee Lewis to Iggy Pop, but they were very much exceptions rather than the rule. It is always visionaries who, to paraphrase George Bernard Shaw, rather than looking at things the way they are and asking why, look at things the way they could be and say, why not? 